What is going on guys? We are back playing some more surviving with immersive engineering. Now today we're finally going to be automating the production of steel, which is going to be super useful and I should have probably done it a really long time ago. But now that we're getting into kind of the higher tier builds and multi block structures that are offered by the mod, uh, you know, we're using like three to four stacks of steel per multi block structure. So I'm sitting here before every episode just moving the coke from the coke oven to the blast furnace and back and forth refilling both of them. And it probably takes between an hour and an hour and a half before every episode to actually get all the steel that I need. And the main thing that uses it would be heavy engineering blocks, uh, which are pretty much used in all the multi-block structures we're going to make now. But on top of that, you know, you need the high voltage cables and the cable connectors and the capacitors. And so that starts totaling up too. And along with that, like the diesel generator, every single block in that use steel. So it really starts consuming a bunch of steel when you're making these multi-block structures. So I thought, you know what, let's automate it so that I don't sit here, you know, repeatedly moving things back and forth for like five to 10 minutes. Instead, I just throw everything in one chest. It gets separated to the Coke oven or blast furnace. The cold Coke gets automatically moved over to the blast furnace. And then the steel is able to get made using whatever iron we put into the input chest. So before we jump into building, I will tell you guys what you're going to need. You're going to need 27 Coke bricks, 27 blast bricks. Obviously, that's enough to make one Coke oven and one blast furnace. On top of that, we're going to need one item router, two hoppers, one chest, and one conveyor belt. Now keep in mind, this is going to be as compact as you can make it. If you want to spread it out over a longer distance, you will need more conveyor belts, but that's all you're going to need if you want to spread it out more. Uh, along with that, if you plan on, you know, making more than one stack of steel at a time, you will need a third hopper and a second chest so that you can pull things out of the blast furnace and put them into their own chest. But other than that, that is all you're going to need. And now we can jump into building. Okay, guys, so now we're going to be actually jumping into building this. And it's going to be relatively easy to do and pretty compact. So to start things out, we're going to be using our Coke bricks to make the Coke oven. So like I said, we're going to need 27 of them and do a three by three. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is you are going to need to be able to access one block below this so that you can put a hopper down to actually pull out the Coke that you get from it. So I am elevating it one into the air. Obviously, if you can dig into the ground, you don't need to do this, but I can't really dig through the floor right here because we'll just fall down into the first level of our base. So I'm going to keep this one elevated one into the air and then we're going to take the engineer's hammer and click right on the front because I want to get this nice texture right here on the front because all the other sides just kind of look, they look meh, they look pretty bland. So next thing we're going to do is make another blast furnace, which is going to go one block to the side of the Coke oven. So this is where it's going to start. And we're going to do the same thing three by three using the blast bricks and keep it one elevated off the ground. So if you want to automatically pull the steel out of this, you can put a hopper down right below it and pull it out into a chest. Once again, we're going to click on the front with the engineer's hammer and that'll make it so that this nice texture is on the front instead of this kind of just bland one on the side. Now that we have these done, we can jump into the automation of the input chest. So we're going to be using my favorite block, the item router, and we're going to put it right here between the two. And you can see the first side that it's going to be going in on is blue. So if we look at this, that means that that is the south side, meaning the side right behind here that we can't see is the north. And that means that it is going to be east in this direction. So the east side is going to be putting it into the blast furnace and the west side is going to be putting it into the coke oven. So we're going to want to make it so that iron is going to go into the blast furnace. So it's going to go into the east side. And one thing you can do that you don't need to do uh, is you can put coke also in here so that if you ever have any excess coke just laying in your inventory or you, you run across some, I don't know, you find it somewhere, uh, you can just throw it in the input chest and it will go with the iron into the blast furnace. And then we're going to take just regular coal and we're going to put it on the west side. And once you've done this and make sure you do this first, you are going to put the hopper down right on this. And the reason I say make sure you set the inputs and outputs first is because you can see that it treats the hopper as a full block. So you can't access this unless you want to kind of like jump around. So it's just easier to do that first and then put the hopper down. And next we're going to take our chest. We're going to jump up here and put it down right on top of the hopper. And we now have the input chest set. So if we throw any iron in here, it should automatically pull it out and put it into the blast furnace. And if we were to throw any coal in here, it should put it right in here into the coke oven. And obviously this is going to start cooking down because it, all it needs is the coal. And that's actually good because I will be able to show you guys the entire system working. So you see that the input now works and we'll be able to see that we will be able to move the coke from this over to the blast furnace. Really simple. So we're going to do that right now. You're going to need one hopper and actually only one conveyor belt. 
So the reason we left one block right in between these was for the item router, but also so that we could put a conveyor belt right down here. Gonna get our engineer's hammer and orient it so it's going from the coke oven to the blast furnace. And then we are going to make it so it's going up from the ground. So gonna take a step back so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, it's gonna go right in this center block right here, and it's going to be going up towards the blast furnace. And it could go on the far back block, the middle block, or the front block between these. It doesn't really matter. I just did it in the middle because why not? Um, but it'll work the same for any of those, so don't worry. And then we're going to take the hopper and we are going to click on the conveyor belt. Now what this is going to do is it's going to pull any of the coke that is made in the coke oven. It's going to take it out and throw it immediately onto the conveyor belt, which is going to carry it up and almost immediately put it into the blast furnace. So. Uh, what it should do when this is done cooking is it should fall right into the hopper up and over so we will watch that happen here and then you can verify that it works and the one last thing that you can do if you really want to is take another hopper and put it right below here and connect it to a chest which you could put like right there i'm not going to do it because i don't really find it necessary but uh, you can if you want to just so that any steel gets put into the chest because this will stop working obviously once 64 steel is created because it won't have anywhere else to put the steel that it makes. So you can see that this one right over here finished the coal or the coal coke came out, got thrown onto the conveyor belt and carried right up here. And now this is cooking down the iron we put into steel. So you can see the whole system works. And now I'm just going to throw all this coal and all this iron in here and even some extra coal coke that I had from my old coke ovens. And it should separate all this evenly the coal should go in here, iron should go in here, and the coal coke should also go in here, and everything should be done. One little disclaimer I want to give you guys is that every time coal goes to coal coke, you get 500 creosote. Now this is really nice at the beginning if you're making water wheels, but right now it's just becoming an issue for me, because essentially what that means is that after 24 uh, creations of coal coke, you are going to be capped out on creosote in this, and it's going to stop working. Now, I have yet to find a way to actually move the creosote out of this using only immersive engineering blocks, and by that I mean I can't pull it out with the fluid pipe. I'm unsure if I'm doing it correctly, but I've tried every single side, tried pumping it out, all that good stuff, and it doesn't seem to work. If you're playing it with a mod pack, I have successfully removed it with like Ender IO conduits and stuff, but I have yet to do it with immersive engineering, so I will keep trying. Um, but I'm not sure if it's a bug or even possible. Uh, if you guys know a way, feel free to let me know. It would be super helpful. But I will keep you guys posted in the comments on whether or not I find out a way to get this to work. But other than that, it is fully automated. So you can throw everything in here. And you can see the coal coat came over here. The iron came over here. And the rest of the coal came over here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and found it useful or anything like that, feel free to give it a like because it helps me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later.